Well, good evening. We've been reminding you all week our tournament preview show Saturday night, 7 o'clock. We'll look ahead to the tournament and after tonight, next stop is the tournament as the regular season ending tonight. We start with the big one in Scarborough. Double A South matchup Scarborough hosting Gorham. Rams build a lead in the fourth. Ashton LeClaire spots up, hits the three. Gorham up eight. Then Gabe Michaud with the power drive. He had 26. It's LeClaire. Then another pull up. He had 23. Then Michaud, the corner three. The Rams are up 13 with two to go. Start the buses. But wait a minute. Here come the Red Storm. Spencer Booth knocks down the three. Then Booth to the hoop. The old fashioned three point play. He had 14. Under 20 to play. Down four. Blake Harris, the deep three. Whoa, we're down one. But Scarborough will get one last chance after two free throws. Booth's attempt to tie it is long. An incredible comeback comes up short as Gorham. 54-51 heads to the postseason with the win. Another rivalry game of note on Ocean Avenue. Portland and Chevrolet meeting up in what could very well be a playoff preview. We head to Chevrolet standing room only for the Stags and Bulldogs. Third quarter belonged to Stag freshman Nicola Plowum. Plowum hits the three and then the next possession. He steps out, does it again. Stags up 42 to 30. Other way, Jesse Camus, he was in foul trouble, got back on the court the fourth and did some damage. Other way, Leo McNabb, the mid-range. He scored Chevrolet's first 13. He goes on a little run in the third to extend the lead. A little bit later, it's Sammy Zemahawa with a sweet dribble move, finds Shima Wawanji. Chevrolet's 57-50. The Sags get the number two seed in the north. All right, game of the night. What is it about Edward Little and Lewiston, the way they end these seasons? Last year, a buzzer beater do it. What would happen tonight? Abdirahim Decane from the logo. Lewiston up 19 in the third. But they go about 10 minutes without a bucket, without a point, and EL rallies. Ding Maywin up on the box there, throwing it down. They're down two. And then about two or one to play. It's Maywin. Again, another putback, and we're tied at 36. Lewiston under 30 to play. Working it inside to Mike Click. The basket and one. They go up 38 36. Eddie's down two, looking to tie or take the lead in the final seconds. Instead, it's Caden Boone, the steal and the stuff to put the exclamation point on it. 40 to 36, Lewiston and a dramatic win. All right, South Portland hosting Sanford tonight. Gabe Galarraga got things going for the Red Riots. He had a game high 21. Spartans get out in transition. Dylan Gendron, the sophomore, he had 16. Red Riots, they'll pull away. Manny Hidalgo, a cutting Darius Johnson for two. He had 13. Then Gabe Jackson steps out. He had 17. 76 46 South Portland, the victory. Bon Eagle hosting Thornton Academy in a rivalry game. First quarter, White Benoit drives, spins, hits the jumper. That's what he does. Then Joshua Valley outside for three. Trojans get out to an early lead. Scott's sticking around. Lucas Drinkwater, he drops the three. But the other way, it's Benoit. The friendly roll for the three. 69-55, Thornton wins and snaps a 12-game losing streak. Oxford Hills hosting Bangor. Oh, hey, I'm back. All right, let's go check out our next game. Oxford Hills and Bangor, like we were talking about. Holden Shaw, two for a dollar inside. Gets the rebound and the putback. And one this time. Other way for Bangor, Ryan Ford gets to the hoop for the nice basket. But Oxford Hills would win it 63 to 40. The Rams end their season 1 and 17. Now here I am. Let's come back. Or regardless of class, Oceanside's shown it's one of the best teams in Maine this year. The Mariners closing out their regular season at Levitt this evening. Pick up the action in this one in the second half. Mariners up big. Cohen Galley off the inbounds play for two. They're up 73-23 in the fourth. Oceanside with the lead. Zach Wallingford for the Hornets slices through the defense and he gets the hometown bounce. But the other way, Carter Galley, the strong take and one. 86-29, Oceanside completes the perfect 18-0 regular season. Really, boys on the road at Wells. Kate Ippolito on the baseline, showing the range for the big man. Really up three in the second. Eli Roy the other way, the hoop and the foul for Wells. He dropped 17 tonight. Rangers in transition. Owen Partridge finishes. He had 28. Kane Springer, the three for Wells. He had 19. We go back and forth. But the Rangers would get the final tally in this one. Ippolito, the putback, he had 20. 71-64, Greeley with the win. St. Dom's coming off its first loss of the year, hosting Pine Tree Academy. Early going, Jonathan Tangalamisu on the board for the basket. Then the captain, 
Campbell Perryman right in your living room. Sticks the three. 68-36 St. Dom's heads the postseason with the win. Back and forth game between Skowhegan and Lawrence up north. Zeb Hanna the three for Lawrence to give the Bulldogs an early lead. Other way, Aiden McGinty passes it off to Jack Fitzpatrick. The Bulldogs will hold on for the win, 82-79. Miranda Cook on the road at Madison. Pick up the action this one, Branton Chilton. The pass from his back ahead to Jacob McLaughlin for the lay-in. Later, Chilton is blocked, but Elijah Freeman's there for the putback. He had 14. Then Wyatt Folsom buries the three. This is all Miranda Cook, 66-34. They should capture the two seed in Northern B. Winslow hosting Mount View. Ben Osborne sticks the three for the Mustangs, and they have a late lead. Under 30 seconds left, Winslow forces the turnover. Brady Poulin to Braden Rodrigue, and the Black Raiders hold on for the 45-43 win over the Mustangs. On the girls' side, Tristan Derenberger with 18, and El Pelletier 21. Oxford Hills with a win over Bangor to close out their regular season. Another big double-A matchup taking place down in Sanford. South Portland taking a 13-game win streak into Sanford. Quick start for the Red Riots. Maya Lawrence spots up, drains the corner three. Then in transition, Andy Whitmore to Emma Travis. South Portland by seven. Spartans would rally, though. Ava Hudson off the inbounds play. She had 15. Then page 70. Great footwork in the paint. It's a lost start. And Julissa McBaron driving, hitting the fadeaway. She specializes in the tough shots. She had 14, 51-32 Sanford and South Portland's 13-game win streak. Rivalry game in Auburn. Edward Little hosting Lewiston. Eddie's get a spark in the third quarter from Rachel Penny. Drops the three. Then Layla Facciano, the Tommy point, on the ground for the steal to Jenny Chaput, to Penny. And Edward Little in overtime, 59-54. Looks like the same two schools will meet up in the quarters next week. Thorne Academy girls hosting Bonnie Eagle. Big night for Trojan senior Emma Lizot. She had 32 points, went over 1,000 in her career, just the fifth in school history to do so. Scott stuck around in the first half. Charlie McAvoy hits the corner three, but the other way, Lizot finds Hannah Keniston, who had 15, 57 40, Thornton the victory. All right, Aiden South, Mount Ararat hosting Deering. Remember, Deering knocked off and upset Mount Ararat earlier in the year. Avery Beal hits the triple. 25-7 in the second, Mount Ararat. They add to it, Juliana and Allen, she had 15. For Deering, Angelina Keough, her shot gets blocked, but the heads-up play gets the rebound and puts it in. But the Eagles, too tough tonight. Abby Doble, the and one, 59-22. They finish the regular season 16-2. All right, Westbrook and Falmouth battling for their playoff lives on senior night in Falmouth. Great start for the Navigators. Maddie Chrisman working in the post, Falmouth up by a score 23 to 11 in the third. Westbrook starts to connect the dots. Audrey Doolittle to Lila Dumphy to Hattie Clark. Then Doolittle finds a cutting Kylie Young for two. The comeback is on. Then Dumphy to Clark. Westbrook comes all the way back to win 47-36 and should host Marshwood in the prelims next week. Northern A, Hamden Academy hosting Nokomis. It was all Broncos in this one. Lauren Votera drills it in transition. And then Destiny Mowers with the corner three. Hamden rolls 80. 223. That's Hoops 8 for this Thursday night. I'm Travis Lee. We'll have all the highlights on WMTW.com if you want to watch again. Main's Total Coverage app also has it. And don't forget our tournament preview show next Saturday at 7, or this Saturday at 7, on Channel 8. More Total Coverage at 11 when we come back.